Deep in the nesting holes made by colonies of ants lives a parasitic cricket that is tiny in size and rarely ever seen by people. My searches for this legendary cricket have taken me out into some of the most pristine and untouched natural areas in the entirety of South Florida, flipping rocks and logs in search of ant colonies, hoping that one of these tiny little elusive crickets will just show its face. However, while walking past the ledge I walk by every single day, I noticed a colony of longhorn crazy ants, a known host for ant crickets, and decided to take a closer look. Out of all places we could have been, I think we finally found ourselves a tiny little ant cricket, and I try and get it to crawl onto my hand so we could finally get a really up close and good look at this individual and try to identify it to species. Alright children, this tiny tiny little thing that is running up my arm right now, it's maybe like a millimeter long, it doesn't look like much, but this is one of the coolest insects I have ever seen in my entire life, and something I have been wanting to see for years and have spent so much time looking for this absolutely incredible insect right here. This is an ant cricket. Now specifically, this is the species Myrmecophilus americanus, which this species of ant cricket is only known to be found in colonies of the species Perchicina longicornis, or the long-horned crazy ant, which happens to be these ants on this wall right behind me right here. And that is where I found this incredible ant cricket. Now you may be wondering, ant cricket? I've never heard of such a thing. And to be honest, most people haven't. These things are actual true crickets. If you look at their back legs, they really do have those jumping back legs like a cricket, because it is really a cricket. These guys' closest living relatives are thought to be the mole crickets, which are much larger than this tiny little ant cricket right here crawling on my hand. And these tiny little hopping crickets can only be found in ant colonies. Some species, like the eastern ant cricket, are a lot more generalized. Here in Florida, I believe the eastern ant crickets are found in colonies of Dorymyrmex burni, the Burns pyramid ant, which are an ant I see all the time. And every time I see a Dorymyrmex burni burrow, I always look for eastern ant crickets or Myrmecophilus hergandae, and I never be able to find that species. But one thing I was not expecting to find was this Myrmecophilus americanus because I thought these were only known from the Florida Keys. So it is very cool to see one here in mainland Florida. Now, unlike the species I would expect to see, which is entirely brown, kind of reddish brown or orangish brown, this species actually has a very distinctive color pattern with this really distinctive white band running across the abdomen. There is no other ant cricket species in range and any ant cricket species in North America that I could think of that has this kind of pattern. Now, it's thought that ant crickets live in these burrows of ants as kind of a parasitism. Now, they don't eat the ants, they don't latch onto the ants, they don't use ants as hosts or anything, but what they do is arguably a little more interesting. They will actually rub themselves on the sides of the ant burrow to kind of rub the pheromones on, and then the ants that they coexist with are tricked into thinking that they themselves are also ants, and they're given stuff like food, shelter, and protection from inside the ant colony. This little guy right here is very tiny, and this is actually very small for an ant cricket. I do not think Myrmecophilus americanus gets very much bigger than this. However, some other species, like the eastern ant cricket, do get bigger than this. And I'd love to see one of the larger sized species, but I'll take any ant cricket for now. Now, just like any other cricket, these things have very powerful back hind legs that they can use to jump and propel themselves forward a lot. But they tend to not jump, mostly so that way they can blend in much better with their ants, as ants don't really jump either. <laughs> uh, so they walk mainly at the same speed as the ants are, especially when the ants are swarming around, these ant crickets will often join them walking and running around on the ground or on walls and stuff. Now even though these ant crickets are quite fast runners, they cannot fly. Neither the males or females have wings, which means both that these things have to walk and run all the way across if they want to go somewhere. They cannot fly. And two, the males cannot make noises. So unlike most other crickets that you know that the males can chirp with their wings, specifically a patch of their wings called a stridulatory file, these don't have wings and therefore also don't have a stridulatory file and cannot make noises. 
You can tell this individual right here is a male because he is lacking an ovipositor. Now, female ant crickets will have a small ovipositor. A lot of crickets and katydids will have long, thin, kind of sword-like ovipositors that they'll use to inject eggs into the ground. Ant crickets also do have an ovipositor that they also do use to inject eggs into soil. However, it is nowhere as long as some of the ovipositors of their relatives. All right, children, I hope you enjoyed learning about this absolutely incredible animal right here, the ant cricket. This is actually something I genuinely cannot believe I'm holding right now, and I've been looking for one of these for so long, so I really hope you enjoyed learning about this, but it is time to put this right back in its ant colony where it belongs.